Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Remote Sensing. Today I will try to discuss a very important topic, mainly spectral buildup indices for impervious buildup extraction using Sentinel 2 multispectral instrument satellite images in Google Earth Engine platform. So today I will try to discuss all of those buildup indices. And then I also show you that how we can easily apply the support vector machine algorithm and classified the buildup and non buildup region using this type of indices. So I will explain all of those things one by one. So I hope you can easily learn this method and you can easily apply this method in Google Earth Engine platform. So, first of all, here you can see I already calculated the different types of index. So, first of all, you can see. Uh, it represented the urban index. You can see the NDBI, mainly the normalized difference buildup index. You can see the NBI, so mainly it's uh, identify about that uh, new buildup index. Then I also try to discuss about that BRBA, so mainly it's that band ratio for buildup area. As well as also you can see the NBAI, it's represented the normalized buildup area index. MBI, it represented about the modified buildup index. Also, you can see about the BAEI, it represented the buildup area extraction index. And finally, all of those uh, index I use and then apply here the support vector machine algorithm, then try to extract the buildup and non buildup region. So, I will show you all of those things one by one. So, first of all, Go to my uh, code editor, I show you that. And also, you can see about this. Uh, again, this time here, you can see. So, in this time, we are just calculate different types of equation. So, here you can see this is my final product. I generate it from the different types of indices. Here you can see I already calculated the all of those indices. So, this is my uh, satellite images. So, mainly in this time, I just simply take this image for Dhaka City, year of 2023. So this is my satellite image. I choose my satellite image for the Dhaka City region in year of 2023. And further, I just calculated first of all R1 index. So mainly uh, just I apply the formula about the R1 index formula and then calculated the R1 index. So I show you this layer about the R1 index. So click on here. So now it uh, show about the R1 index. So mainly urban index formula is that uh, when you just simply uh, calculated the normalized difference between the short wave infrared one and near infrared band, then you can easily get the urban index. Also, you can see the NDBI. So mainly uh, this equation is the short wave infrared minus near infrared divided by short wave infrared plus near infrared. Also, you can see the NBAI. So this is the another index I already calculated in here. So it represented about the NBAI new buildup index. And also you can see about that BRBA. So this is the another um, ratio, band ratio for buildup area. It represented the band, uh, band ratio for buildup area. Also you can see about the NBAI. NBAI mainly represented about the normalized buildup area index, then modify buildup index. Then we are using at the uh, mainly build up area extraction index. And finally, we are just apply here the uh, support vector machine algorithm and use this type of index. And finally, we are extract from here that build up and non build up region. So here you can see this type of red color identify about the build up and gray color identify about the non build up. So here you can see this type of index I created. And final product, we are just uh, extraction the build up area and non build up area. So, in this time, this type of red color identify about the build up and it's identify about the non build up. Okay, so here you can see we can easily get this result. So, in this time, here you can see this is my code about that. And I also make the time series analysis about that. So, that's why in this time it show about that is index what is the condition for the different time year of 2023. We can easily get the idea from here for the different types of index um, uh, we can get from here. So first of all, in this code here, you can see I just simply calculated the different types of index. So as here you can see, R1 in, uh, for the urban index, uh, I just put here the short wave infrared one 
and short and near infrared okay just simply differentiate then calculate the urban index also you can see the ndbi i calculated so all of those formula i just calculated from here and further i just take the some training sample from my satellite images so here you can see i already take the same sample build up and non build up region i take some training sample and then extract all of those pixel value for all of those band so here you can see in this time here i can get total 200 99 training sample and each band extract the band value for all of those band so b a e i so all of those you can see it extract the band pixel value for each uh, single point so further this is my data set this data set i use in the support vector machine algorithm and train my model so further here i use here you can see this is the model about that uh, i just use here this uh, model uh, here you can see i just simply separate or split the data set 80% and 20% and then I use here the support vector machine algorithm and then train my uh, model okay then classified and I can get the build up area I show the result in the build up area is the red color and uh, I show the result for the non build up area show as the gray color so further I just also add here the time series chart for the urban index normal normalized difference build up index then new uh, build up area index then also um, build up area extraction index so just I make a time series chart for year of 2023 so from here we can easily download all of the pixel value uh, using the download the csv file it's simply downloaded you can see and you can simply uh, show the result in the excel file so further you can easily make the more uh, calculation here you can see downloaded for the time series chart for this uh, um, baei index uh, nbai index ndbi index ui index so we can easily get this type of value so basically this is the process um, mainly how we can easily use this type of build up index uh, mainly this type of build up index how we can easily use and then apply the support vector machine to find out the build up and non build up region okay so if you have any question or any doubt about that you can simply contact with me further i also guide you in the meantime i also give you an announcement for our upcoming online training program mainly it will be start on the 12th january so now this registration is the open and uh, if you want to join this online training program you will learn all of those things uh, from beginners to advanced level such as uh, basically this online training program for the total seven days and each day i will provide you total three hours uh, pro, uh, for the live training session and this class will be start from the 12th january okay and in this time you also get the first 10 days to will get the 50 percent discount but already joined total six people so now only four seats are available to get the 50 percent discount if you want to join this uh online training program and get the discount as soon as possible you can simply contact in the whatsapp number as well as you can also contact in this email okay so basically in this online training program you can learn all of those things from beginners to advanced level on google earth engine if you have no knowledge in programming or if you have no knowledge in the python or javascript don't worry about that you will learn all of those things from the stress and then you can easily use it and you can easily apply the different types of remote sensing analysis in google earth engine platform very quickly and efficiently so here you can see i already add all of those course content for the first day second day also third day so you can easily get all of those things in the video description i already added you can you can simply check it all of those course content and uh, you can also get the some benefit after when you want to join this online training program you can get the e-certificate after submitting all of those assignment you can get the all of those material slide pdf all of those practice code you can easily get and use it and you can also get the recorded class suppose you if you miss any live training session then you can easily recover it watching the recorded class and you can also get the lifetime teaching support it's very important as a beginner so when you learn the google earth engine platform you face a lot of problem so that's why you need the continuous support so for getting this support you can get the lifetime teaching support after completing the total seven days online training program when you face any problem regarding any issue in the google earth engine uh, code or any issue about the remote sensing you can get the lifetime free support or anytime you can easily contact with us so if you want to join this online training program you can simply contact in this whatsapp number and also contact with this email then for the complete your registration fee and then you can easily join and so now only four seats are available for getting the 50 percent discount so if you want to join as soon as possible complete your registration and then join in our google classroom and also join in our first group okay so today is no more stay happy stay safe thank you for watching that